So you know when you get an idea, and uh, it seems like a good idea at the time, this is one of those times. But it is cool. Alright guys, hope you're well. So I'm doing something a little bit different. So I got my phone fixed and uh, I was actually playing around with it trying to get the uh, onboard microphone that you put in to work and uh, I was like, the audio, it's so clear, it's so good. What's going on? Um, turns out the mic doesn't work in the, in the camera at all. It is actually the phone mic that is picking up the sound. So hopefully this is gonna go well. So what we're doing today is we're gonna do the tasting video for the lard beer that we started eh, a month and a bit ago now. Or just over a month and a bit ago. Anyway, I will put the links at the top there in that beautiful, beautiful sun and scenery. So, uh, it is basically the tasting video. We're gonna sit down, I'm gonna crack open a pint in the Baltic and uh, enjoy it. Wait a minute, I've got a plastic bag. Don't want it to fly away. There we go. But I did bring pint glass because well you know you can't have a drink without a pint glass so uh, I guess we should crack into this before I freeze cool so first things first did it carbonate because I haven't opened one of these yet so uh, hopefully the camera will pick this up I would say that worked that is uh, that is pretty good it did get a little bit mixed up uh, on the way here but that's transportation, but it's got some good bubbles. You probably can't see anything. So let's pour ourselves a cheeky bite. Don't have to be too worried about this. Oh, it smells good. I'm gonna leave the last little bit in there. It's got all the dregs, but it's got carbonation. It has a red hue. Actually smells quite nice. It's got a a spicy edge to it. So I guess we can find out if lard beer, or the lard in the lard beer, gives it a tasty flavor. Just uh, pull that back up. Safety first. Now I can have my vapey doofer back. Good stuff. Anyway, so here is the lard beer. It has a reddish hue to it. It has been a little bit mixed up, so that could account for a little bit of the cloudiness. But then again, we didn't go through the whole protein stage and we didn't bother with that. We just went through uh, lard and done. I suppose that's the thing. It is now. So, uh, cheers. Smells good. Tastes cold. Wow. That's quite nice. So we didn't add any hops into this. I wanted to see if that extra high amount of rye that we used would give it a spicy edge. And I have to say, this is pretty nice. And actually, it's got a bit of a spicy head to it. It's got a nice carbonation, not over the top. No head. Um, don't know what to say about that, just no head. But it's actually really quite nice. Cheers. Mm. It is strange having beer without hops in there. But I quite like this. It has a spicy edge. It kind of has a wheaty taste as well. Uh, kind of like um, a bit malty. I think that's the word I'm looking for. does have a very nice mouthfeel. Not lardy though. I suppose that's a word. It is now. I mean, let's be fair. <coughs> Ooh. Ooh. Tastes good the second time too. I do apologize. This is really nice. I mean, it's a little cold and, uh, but it is a really good view. And there are many birds that you can't see. That is nice. I wouldn't call it a standard beer, 
because, well, it wasn't from a standard beer recipe. It has um, mm, just a nice taste, let's be fair. It is beer-esque without being beer. It's like a cross between a beer, a stout, and kvass all mixed together into one, but it really works out nice. So this beer is a beer because it's malted, it's great, it worked. We used lard and created beer and it did work. I mean, it's carbonated, it's, it's got everything that is required for a beer. <clears throat> Excessive gas. The one thing it doesn't have is hops. Now, I purposely didn't add in the hops because, well, I wanted to see how this was on its own. You never see a beer without hops, ever. I mean, in some form or another, I know that uh, there are people that use other things, like um, pine, for example. They'll add in like, pine boughs and they'll basically replace hops with something else. But no one's really ever done it on its own. I mean, it is, it's different. It is a beer, I know it's a beer, yet uh, it's different at the same time. Might as well get another few in since we can. So it turns out that you can make beer using lard. And it's not bad. I mean, if we added hops, you probably wouldn't be able to tell that this was a lard beer, which is nice. Now, the recipe I used is my own. I made it up. And uh, I really like this. It's a bit spicy. It's got a little, a little twang to it. It tastes like beer, like stout and kvass all mixed together. I like it. I don't need to know. I don't really know what more to say. So I'm going to leave you there, guys, because I am officially numb. And uh, that's, that's, yeah, I'm cold. So don't forget to check out some of the other videos. And well, subscribe if you feel like it. Karen Humbrey. Enjoy.